MVP level, but he's at the end, he still can be a, a serviceable all star, uh, meaning he. got NBA basketball in store for you. We're live at the AT&T Center in San Antonio, Texas, the home of the Spurs, live on 2K Sports. Welcome to the NBA for this Friday afternoon broadcast. I'm Kevin Harlan, and here with me today, Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And it's going to be the Bulls off the tip. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. Rose is the one with Butler as the two. At small and power forward, it's Dunleavy and Gasol. And it's Noah in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And there was a question of whether or not Derrick Rose was able to get back to his former self. At times last season, you could see him back in that MVP form. Now here's Rose following the miss by Tony Parker. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. Outside, Green. Here's Aldridge. Trains it from 17 feet out. And with Rose again, he showed flashes last season of his level of play, Clark, before the end. Yeah, exactly. And you hate to see any player go down with injuries, especially a talent like Derrick Rose. He still needs to show that he can regain that high level of NBA play for, a, for an entire season. I think that's just a matter of time. No one covers. Leonard's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Bulls have gone 0 of 3 from the field to start the game. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Kevin, earlier I had a chance to speak with Greg Popovich. He said that their defensive focus, no surprise, will be trying to keep Derrick Rose out of the lane. He added, you know he's come a long way as an outside shooter, but he's a pick-your-poison type of player. We can't let him get into the paint. Makes sense, Kevin. Great. Thanks for the report, Doris. And here's Leonard from three. And that's not the best of shot selection there. The defense definitely won that possession. Yeah, I think in that case, you've got to go elsewhere with the ball. You just can't rise up over the top of him when he's on you. And he gets the bucket. The defender was spinning around like an agitator in the washing machine after that crossover. <laughs> I think you're right. Looks a little bit dizzy after that one. Now, here's Parker. Rejected by Gasol. And the dunk by Aldridge. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Outside Rose, pass to Gasol. From the baseline, the shot is off. Now San Antonio takes it the other way. And listen, San Antonio it is an older team. Actually, the oldest in the league last season. And because of injuries and days off, they didn't get to feel that, that preferred starting five a lot last year. And Chicago has possession. Kawhi Leonard getting his three to go. Good-looking screen by Gasol. Shot clock at six. Butler with the ball. Picked up by Aldridge. And it's Butler missing. The defense needs to play tight on him, and that's exactly what they did to force that miss. Well done. Puts up the baby hook. Chicago grabs the miss. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Launches it. Green with the rebound. Spurs leading by five. Parker passes to Leonard. Duncan, a screen. Over in the corner, Green. Outside Aldridge. That doesn't go either for Aldridge. The Bulls have gone just two of eight shooting so far, just uh, 25%. Rose against Green. Here's Gasol, and he gets that one to go off the front iron. Give credit where credit is due right there. A terrific assist. The feed now to Green. Fires from deep. No good. And Chicago will go the other way with the ball. Rose up on top, covered by Parker. Floats one up, and Rose with the lay-in. Rose has got his first best. And it's all about the release when you shoot the floater. 
It's incredible to think that Pau Gasol last year set a career high in points in a game for as long Clark as he's played. He had that 46-point game in January. Yeah, that's 46 points for Powell to go with 18 rebounds. I mean, right. you rarely see a player of his age putting up a career high like that. entirely new group here. David West, he's checked in for Duncan. Diaw comes in for LaMarcus Aldridge. Mono Ginobili, he's checked in for Green. And it's Mills in for Parker. Chicago also making some changes. Taj Gibson's checked in for Noah. Miritich comes in for Mike Dunley. And Brooks subbed in for Derek Rhodes. Now here's Mills. And Ginobili wide open. He shoots. And the three ball is good. Ginobili's got his first three points of the game. And with Powell, that 46-point game, he became the oldest player to get 45 points and 15 rebounds. And they're just raining threes on both ends. Boy, I love the answer. You come at me with the three, I'm coming right back with my own triple. Mills dishes to Diaw. Ginobili against Miritich. And Ginobili, here we go. Gasol with the steal. Butler kicks to Miritich to the inside and David West gets the whistle that time that's his first foul I mean I like the call I thought the defense was just there a little late yeah it looked like it I mean he kind of slid underneath as he got to the spot too the Bulls making a switch here Heinrichs checked in twenty nine seconds left to play in the first and there's the pass to Miritich. Chance there to take the lead. Missing. They hold the early advantage on the glass. Yeah, nothing major. Not a huge advantage, but certainly a good sign for them going forward. That's good. <laughs> you don't see that too often. The fadeaway shot when he's wide open. Here's Brooks. Shot is off. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Spurs lead by three. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. Tim Duncan closing out what's been a remarkable career, a Hall of Fame career. We heard from teammate Mono Ginobili about what Tim's meant to the San Antonio Spurs. He really transformed the franchise. He's one of the best players ever. Four championships, uh, two MVPs, and if somebody deserves it, it is him. Well, as Mano saying, Duncan, no doubt the long-term face of the Spurs franchise and arguably their best player ever, which brings up the conversation, Greg, of where he stands all-time league-wide. Well, well, he's right there. And listen, let's give him a little more credit, Mano. He's got five rings now, you know, having won that championship two seasons ago. But look, Kobe's in that category with five rings and an MVP as well. So he's an all-time great. I don't know how you rank him. But when you have a conversation about the best ever, Tim Duncan will be in it. And we got a close game here as we get back to the second quarter. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Spurs. Guys, they are dialed in from beyond right now. They didn't waste any time getting into a groove in this game. Also, what passing we've seen from them here early. I mean, there could be a big number in the assist column if this keeps up. On the court right now, second quarter for the Bulls. The big man are Gibson and Noah. Heinrich is out there with Brooks, and it's Miritich in at the three spot. 
Derek Rose, unbelievable spirit. We know about his toughness, has fought through injuries of all kinds that might cause a lesser competitor to hang up his sneakers. And competitor, that's the word, Kevin. I mean, he was impossible to outcompete at the high school level, the college level, and now in the pros. Parker outside, inside, stolen by Noah. Heinrich passes to Rose, and he gets it to go. Now it's a three-point Chicago lead. He always knows where his teammate's going to be, and Kevin, that will let him put the ball where he wants it, right waiting for him. And Green gets it to go. about doing a Rip Van Winkle on defense. Come on, guys, wake up. Why are they leaving him open at the three-point line? Come on. Yeah, I think he just sees some things that can be improved and wants to get everybody back on the same page. And usually that, to me, is a good use of the timeout. I mean, if there's something that he's noticed that can give his team a lift, um, I think he's got to try to take advantage of that. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Well, Kevin, I was able to listen in on what the head coach of the Chicago Bulls was going over in his huddle. Derek Rose was the focus of the discussion, and he wants their offense to run through him. The coach is looking for him to take on a lot of responsibility when they've got the ball, to be a leader at the offensive end. Maybe making those early adjustments will give them time to judge their effectiveness by halftime. We'll soon find out, Kevin. Great. Thanks for the report, Doris. And, you know, guys, Manu Ginobili's relationship with Greg Popovich has been really interesting over the years. In the beginning, Pop obviously had a rigid system. Ginobili played with a lot more freestyle right, and free-willing nature. Two the two clashed heavily two early shots. on, as one might expect. The first free throw is good. Getting back to Ginobili and Popovich, everyone thought Popovich would break Ginobili of his reckless ways, but in fact, you know this, it was the opposite here. Yeah. You know, Pop, Pop recognized he had something special in Ginobili, and it ended up changing his own philosophy, I mean, which I think speaks to the greatness of Greg Popovich. I mean, he was quoted as saying, you know, he does things, Ginobili, that win games. It, it taught me to watch a little bit more and not be so micromanagement-like, and not sure Pop's ever said that about anybody else. Major defensive laps right there. I mean, he's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. You've got to stay attached to him. They're lucky he couldn't punish them for it. Gibson with the steal. Rose kicks to Dunleavy. Duncan against Gibson. And he goes in for the dunk. Yeah, how about the sharp steal and then run out? It looks like they're ready to put the hammer down. Well, we've been waiting for one of these teams, Greg, to pull away. Maybe that'll be a springboard for him. Could be. A dunk like that coming off a great defensive play has to build some momentum. Shot clock at five. Alder. And another shot. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. How about the perseverance there, the extra effort on that offensive glass? He 
Leonard, he's checked in for Mono Genova. Pau Gasol has checked in for Chicago. For San Antonio, they have had two chances at the line already, making them both. Bulls made the postseason for the 10th time in their last 11 seasons. Last year, they have become a fixture break in the playoffs in the East. And how about last season, Kevin, had that interdivision matchup in their first round against the up-and-coming Bucks. Uh, some hiccups form in that series, but they were able to prevail. Shot is good, and the Spurs' lead is cut to just one on the basket from Noah. The Spurs have gone 2 of 5 from the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. Parker dishes to Aldrich. He kicks it to Leonard. And it's Dunleavy with the rebound. Boy, in that playoff series against the Bucks, the Bulls looked like they were primed for an upset as they started slowly. Eventually pulled it together and came in as the underdogs against the Cavs. And not a great start for him in the first, but he's quickly starting to turn it around. Parker against Rose. Nobody near Leonard. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Parker. Eight points for Kawhi Leonard. And the Cavs knocked out the Bulls in six games. Bulls went up 2-1 in the series, but didn't have an answer for LeBron. Strong effort from the Bulls, though, but they just couldn't match the firepower of the cat. Aldridge, no one around him. And the three off target. Well, uh, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. Kept alive, Noah, and it's sent back by Aldridge. Leonard, the pass to Parker. Duncan outside. Dishes it to Leonard. Duncan with a screen on Buck. Back to Duncan. Parker kicks to Aldridge from the baseline. Nice jump shot. Good. Now it's a three-point San Antonio lead. Feeds it to Dunley. Here's Gasol. Nice touch on the bank shot. Gasol's got his second basket of the game. Yeah, that's asking a lot from that defender. Yeah, it certainly is. I mean, he just doesn't have the size to really be effective in that kind of matchup. And, of course, Tony Parker, so big for San Antonio in those championship runs. But word on the street was that Spurs coach Greg Popovich didn't always go easy on Tony. He really pushed him to the limit. Yeah, you know, it started back when Tony was invited to the Spurs summer camp before the 2001 draft. One of the scouts was really physical with Tony, really gave him a hard time, and that was really the start of his maturation process in learning to deal with the NBA. Looking at who's out there now for the Spurs. David West, he's checked in for Duncan. Diaw comes in for LaMarcus Aldridge. And it's Mills in for Green. Good on the second free throw. And, you know, getting back to Popovich's relationship with Tony Parker, Pop made the decision to draft Parker. So he obviously saw something. But Pop's a perfectionist, and if you're going to play point guard for him, you've got to deliver consistently. Miritich's shot is off. San Antonio's gone 4 of 8 tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the three ball here. Parker outside. Pass to Mills. And it goes at the wow. buzzer! Digging deep to hit that shot. That shows oh. some serious guts right there. Oh, man. No explanation, no excuses, no hesitation, no fear. Just tremendous execution. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that has been very close so far. Spurs out in front. They lead by four. And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the sideline. Doris? Hey, Kevin, with Derek Rose. Derek, how does it feel to get back out there on the basketball floor here for the new season ahead? It feels good, man, especially um, playing with my teammates. We have new teammates. We're just trying to come out here and just play hard and compete. Great to have you back, Derek. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, Doris, and we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. I would call that a competitive first half of action. Ernie Johnson here welcoming you back to the 2K Sports Halftime Show with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. A pretty close game for the Spurs throughout the first quarter. At the end of the period, they held a three-point lead. 
The second quarter was a strong effort for them as they continued to battle and they were able to close out the half in a good position. Kenny, what was your take on San Antonio? You have to love a team that pounds the offensive glass. That's going to gain you extra possessions. And check this out. Sometimes just having more offensive chances than your opponent wins the basketball game. And Shaq, what would you think about Chicago? The big positive, I think their points in the paint. They were determined to work the ball inside of Ernie. It worked. It's always worked. I got four rings. I know it works for a fact. That's why they call me Dr. O'Neill, because I'm a master at being dominant on the inside. Anyway, you got to keep that going, because that will continue to open things up for them on the perimeter. All right, that is going to wrap up our halftime report, as it's just about time for the start of the third quarter. Welcome back, everybody. The start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first half. You have to like what we're seeing so far from Kawhi Leonard. And in terms of points in that first half, you know, he's now at a point where we expect him to perform that way. And, Greg, that tells you all you need to know about what a talent he is. I mean, I'll bet he adds a lot more to his totals after the break. Spurs leading by four. I tell you what, he has quite the act to follow, but Fred Hoiberg was a quick choice for the brass in Chicago, signed that five-year deal over the summer, was easily one of the most in-demand coaches available. Parker and Green are the guard pairing. Duncan out there with LaMarcus Aldridge, and it's Leonard in at the three. That's the San Antonio five. Here's Gasol following the basket by LaMarcus Aldridge. Here's Noah. Good, and the assist goes to Gasol. Well, Greg, for Hoiberg, it's his first job as an NBA head coach. Now, we know he played. He's been a part of an NBA front office. Mm -hmm. Clark, he came from Iowa State, where he honed his coaching skills and was highly respected. Yeah, very much respected, particularly as an offensive coach. And we know the Bulls are pretty solid defensively, and he'll be looking to ramp up that offensive approach for that team, and I think he will. And out of bounds is San Antonio gains possession. You know, that's hard to explain that play. I mean, I, I guess he thought he had more room than he did. And if you're just joining us, we played over a minute here in the third. Kicks it to Leonard. To the paint. Here's Duncan. The rebound by Noah. Noah's got his third rebound tonight. Rose with the ball. He's picked up by Parker. Rose dishes to Noah. And that one goes long. You know what? Those are shots you just hate to miss when you get those kinds of bunnies on a possession. Outside, Green. Green, the screen. Six to shoot. Leonard, no luck. Good little two-man action there, but they just can't get the shot to fall. Yeah, but that was a beauty. Good-looking shot, well-executed play. I wouldn't be surprised to see them go back to it. That's good. Dunleavy, he's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. You, you, how can you forget about him? I mean, he's not going to miss that open of a look. Chicago grabs the miss. You know, you take a look at this group of Spurs, and you wonder if they've peaked. I mean, it seems you say that a lot with this team, and they prove you wrong. What Popovich said last year, he feels it might actually be the case. Here is Parker. After the made shot from Joakim Noah, Duncan, that drops, and it comes off an assist from Parker. Parker's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one.
Manu Ginobili's checked in for the Spurs. And the Bulls making a change also. Gibson's checked in. Butler against Ginobili. And it's Butler missing. And he has slipped into a funk, Clark. You can see the confidence is shaken. Yeah, it really is. I mean, he's very much deflated. Uh, the basket looks a lot smaller to him at this point, and the only way you can get out of it is to work yourself out of it. Now here's Gibson. Jimmy Butler unable to get his last shot to go. Ball's knocked loose. Ginobili against Rose. Ginobili the pass to Aldridge. Here's Parker. Nice ball boomed by San Antonio. They get it back. Outside Rose. Floats one. Rejected by Ginobili. And Parker with a clear path to the hoop. Finished off the break. And the Spurs lead by five. Excellent work there in transition. Yeah, I think it's always better to go early in transition to attack when it's there because oftentimes you can beat the defense down the floor and it's going to be out of bounds the Bulls will retain possession yeah that's a super defensive play if that gets through no doubt they score and that's why he sold out for it because he knew he had to make that play he wasn't going to let them get the event here's what San Antonio is going with right now West is checked in for Aldridge DL comes in for Daniel Green and it's Mills in for Tony Parker. The Bulls also changing it up. Miritich is checked in for Dunley. Heinrich comes in for Jimmy Butler. And it's Brooks in for Rose. And it's just hard to imagine the Spurs without Coach Popovich on the sidelines. He's the longest tenured coach in the NBA and has done so much for this team. Easily one of the best coaches in the history of our league. No clue how he got that one to fall. And that was not a soft foul he had to get through, Greg. I mean, he had to really power that one up and in. And Greg, you know, for Popovich being with the Spurs for so long since 1996, Clark, he is actually the longest tenured coach in all of sports right now. Amazing, Kevin, and he's done it through winning. I mean, the third fastest coach ever to get to 1,000 wins. You compare his numbers with any coach in any sport, and they stack up as Hall of Fame caliber. Now here's Mills. Here's Diaw. Shot from the baseline is right on target. Textbook, nice pass, great catch, even better finish. Brooks outside. Miritich the screen. Brooks kicks to Miritich. Kawhi Leonard comes up with the rebound. Leonard's got three rebounds now in this one. Ginobili dishes to West. There's the pick. He feeds it to Mills. Over in the corner, Diaw, just five to shoot. And Patrick Mills gets the three. And now an eight-point San Antonio lead. The Bulls have gone four of nine from the floor so far in the third. And Brooks, here we go. Here's Gasol, and it's good. Assisting on the play was Brooks. And that's now six points for Paul Gasol. The Spurs have gone six of ten from the field in the third quarter. High post try. Tiao with a wide open look. No good on the triple. Bulls trail by six. But they'll probably let the clock wind down here. Right on. I mean, no need to give the ball back before the end of the quarter in this situation. Now here's Brooks. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Three pointer, Heinrich. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer, Peter. That's a crucial three, Kev. They've cut it close going into the fourth. They've still got a chance. We've got a great game on our hands as we welcome you back. The fourth quarter of action getting started. Chicago's gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three-point tonight. 
four of seven shooting. So the Bulls five right now. They've got Brooks. Jimmy Butler is out there with Miritich. Then there's Noah. And it's Rose in at point guard. Lock at six. And he gets the shot to fall after coming off the pick. Rose has got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for the Bulls. Duncan left side from 12 feet out. And another basket for San Antonio. And the deeper we get into this game, it seems like the more the offenses are in rhythm. With a question, I mean, both of these teams are firing on full broadband bandwidth. I mean, full throttle ahead. The defenders need to recognize and be alert to staying on him as we get into crunch time. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. Parker kicks to Duncan. The shot, no good. And in Chicago the other way. Butler with the ball. He's picked up by Parker. Butler attacking. And he gets it to go. And the Bulls lead by two. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end. And let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. And, you know, coaches just love players who they can count on to give that effort defensively. And he clearly is one of those guys, Greg. We saw it right there. Nice work forcing that miss. Now here's Parker. Jimmy Butler unable to get his last shot to go. Here's Aldridge. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. And Butler, here we go. The kick out to Rose. Baseline J on the way. Not enough on that one as it misses. And even though he missed that, you have to take those shots when you get the opportunity. Exactly. They don't come much better or easier than that. Now here's Duncan. There's the dish to Mills. Duncan with a screen on Rose. Passes to Aldridge. Fires the three. San Antonio again missing. Heritage has a wide open look. And again, no good by Chicago. And the whistle blows as the basket counts and a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. And the Spurs making a change here. Leonard's checked in. And the Bulls making a change also. Mike Dunleavy, he's checked in for Aaron Brooks. And you look at Joe Kim Noah. I mean, one of those hybrid talents. As a center, he gives you the rebounding, the shot blocking you want. But then he also has tremendous passing skills and instinct. And the energy of a mountain lion. Parker kicks to Duncan. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Parker. Parker's got his ninth assist in the game now. Rose against Parker. Rose in the post. Puts it up from 12. And that one hits back iron. And going back to Joe Kim, no, he really is a hybrid. He holds American, Swedish, and French citizenships. He's truly a man of the world. And he's worldly on the floor. He can go and play a lot of different positions. And, and Kevin, he, he looks like a man of the world. He, he has a unique style unto himself, but, but I'll take the versatility and the hustle he brings on my team any day. If he's healthy, he's a fact. Now, here's Aldridge, and another basket for San Antonio. Game winding down, and they just keep changing leads. Absolutely. I mean, six lead changes here so far. Exciting yeah. stuff. And guys, no separation yet, and I really don't think we're going to see any all the way down. Miracic gets the bucket. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively.
Chris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Kevin, Greg Popovich was just going over the plan with his team. He really wants them to try to push the tempo here, see if they can get a few easy buckets in transition, saying, listen, we're playing station to station right now. Let's try to catch them off guard, guys. Let's see if they can do exactly that, Kevin. The Spurs making a switch here. Ginobili's checked in. Now, here's Aldridge. Rejected by Gasol. Rose against Parker. Rose goes in. From 12 feet out. Excellent D there from Parker. The Spurs have gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth. Four of nine. Outside Leonard. The tray. They grab their own miss. Duncan with the bucket. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. you got to keep getting him touches. Noah the screen poked away it's stolen by Duncan Rose against Parker he dishes it to Aldridge Aldridge can't get that one to fall they get that one but guys on the night that's been the problem securing the ball they've been out hustled at this point hard to see them recovering from that it's Ginobili with the drive, with the shot. It falls! Just look at what Aldridge is doing. seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one here's Rose good and what a sensational bucket to bring them within one I tell you what this is the white hot version of Derrick Rose right here and they foul intentionally they're going to have to do that now again and again they're not in the penalty yet we've got 22 seconds left to play here in the fourth and so they choose to intentionally foul that, that's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. Yeah, they have to extend the game. I mean, plain and simple. Use every second you can on the clock here. It's the first. That will put them up by two. The second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a three-point game. Absolutely massive free throws. That'll force them into a three-point attempt. Rose. 
and the bucket counts. And he's on his way to the free throw line. Try to make it a three-point play. They don't get any bigger than that basket. They needed it, Greg, and he gave it to them. And that one misses. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. No choice but to foul there, but, it, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. But there was no time really to be selective. Stopping the clock was the priority. And so he drops them both. It's a three-point game. They have a chance to tie it up. A three ball would do just that. That's the Dunleavy. Butler dishes to Gasol. For three, Dunleavy. Oh, he had a chance there to send it to overtime, but they come up empty-handed. And so it's San Antonio who's straight by with the win. What a show they put out here at home tonight. Tremendous work all the way down to the wire. We were just wondering what would happen next. Major drama, and we saw good. And a chance now to send you over to Doris Burke, standing by on the sideline. Doris? Well, guys, I'm here with Tim Duncan in a game that is won by such a narrow margin. Tim, how big of a part of this team's identity is playing in these situations and figuring out a way to win? Uh, huge. It's a huge part of it. We didn't lose our, our, our focus. We didn't panic. We just kind of kept on playing, and we just kind of possession by possession, trying to get stops and push it right back at them. Well done, Tim. We appreciate it. Guys, over to you. All right, Doris. Great job. Thanks so much. And that about wraps it up. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching. See you next time. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Thank you, Kevin. And now let's move on to the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, Tim Duncan. Just a sensational performance on a lot of levels. There aren't too many levels to talk about. Man, in some game, he's in the background. He doesn't get the chance to be the star of the show. But not tonight. He's the star tonight. Put him on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Tonight, just another page to tack on Tim Duncan's lengthy Hall of Fame resume. The fact is, Tim Duncan can still dominate as he always has. Maybe his game has changed over the years, but like he showed us here tonight, his all-around greatness has never gone away. And that's it for our broadcast here tonight. But we're just getting started on a new season in the NBA. For Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K sports crew, I'm Ernie Johnson. We'll see you again soon.